and gentlemen, welcome to Monday Night Raw. This is Jim Raw here at ringside with Jerry the King Lawler. We're just one month away from WrestleMania. And here's the man who'll be going to the granddaddy of them all as the number one contender for Triple H's WWE title. And what a match that's going to be, JR. But WrestleMania is still four weeks away. And if I were him, I'd stay focused on his match right here tonight. That's some good advice, King. If the challenger isn't fully prepared to meet the monster he's getting in the ring with here tonight, he might not make it to WrestleMania. Hey, let's play. Welcome back to more WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2007. Apparently, WrestleMania is just around the corner. Uh, so, cool, I guess. I guess the Raw storyline is longer or maybe shorter than the SmackDown storyline. Probably know all, we, all it is is uh, WrestleMania. But I'm pretty sure uh, we're going to get screwed over by Triple H and have to battle our way back to WrestleMania next year or some shit. But we'll see. I'm not totally sure. I can't remember. You know, the last time I played this was when I was a kid, so... But anyways, we got a match against Kane here. So might as well uh, try to defeat him as quick as possible. Considering everyone I've fought so far has been over 300 pounds. That I just realized. Yeah, Big Show, Viscera, and now we got Kane. It's a lot of big boys. Belly to belly suplex. Throwing Kane across the ring like nothing. Like he's a sack of potatoes. Alright, Baldy, get up. Like I'm one to talk. I'm actually bald though. Kane has a bit of hair. He just won't let go of his hair. He's like, no, I refuse to be bald. Uh, let's let's give him the airplane spin. Why not? We spin around, Kane. Spin around. Uh, I don't know why the airplane spin's even a thing because it doesn't do any damage. What's the point? It absolutely does nothing. I might have to go into my move set and change that. But it's pretty pointless. Maybe he switch it for a suplex or something. Alright, big boy. Oh, shit. Reversing the kicks. Ooh, the big chop. The clothesline taking him down. Oh, Kane okay, rolling out of the way at the last second there. Kind of connected with that. Still haven't hit the triple German suplex, and that's an issue for me right now. I feel like I need to hit that eventually. I need to work on his legs, too. And I gotta... Gotta get him with that ankle lock at least once. Calm down, ref. Calm down. There you go. I let him go. After the count of five, I'm not breaking any rules. Alright. See if we can work on his leg. Oh, nope. He's not gonna let me. That's the problem with like, a leg submission move. Is, you know, there's no really offensive moves to attack the leg. Which is kind of annoying. Ow, shit. Balls. Ass. Tits. Oh. Get up. Well, Krangle's on Raw, so I don't know what you're talking about, but whatever. Ugh. There, take him down. Oh, shit. Big arm toss. Our hip toss take over right there. Bakin. Look at all the like all the work I've been doing on him, and he's still not... He's barely damaged. You know? It's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, I get stun guns. And then angle slam. Perfect combination. Put him on that, and then you know, go for the angle slam, and then uh, go for the pin. One, two. Oh, he kicked out. Kane showing off his uh, demon strength. By kicking out. Get up. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, a choke break here, eh? All right, interesting maneuver. I want to do the triple Germans. That's all I want to do is triple Germans. The game refuses. So let me do it though. Alright, the, the headlock here. Good pressure on the headlock, obviously, because, uh, you know, we're uh, a super. super submission technician. <laughs> See, even that move doesn't even affect the. It's so weird. Why don't I have the, the German suplexes? All right, we got the head scissors. Body scissors in the headlock connection. Get up, punk. It's time to end you. Another angle slam. Not kicking out of that one. I guarantee that. Unless I give you the rope break, because I pinned you like an idiot. But no, that ain't going to happen. One... 
two, three. What an impressive match. Is it too late for me to back out of WrestleMania? Well, it seems like the champion's attitude hasn't improved since the last time we saw him. If that's all you're gonna bring to the main event of WrestleMania, you might as well not even lace up your damn boots. You see this? This doesn't leave my waist unless I say it does. It's called the champion's advantage. If I get disqualified, I keep the title and you get Jack. But I got a deal for you. You go to SmackDown this Friday night and send my ungrateful ex-protege, Randy Orton, a message. You pin him, one, two, three, and I'll make our title match a no DQ match. But if you screw up, you're not getting a damn thing from me, except the beating of your life at WrestleMania. The game has offered his challenger a deal with the devil. Will he accept? He's not a fool. If he's serious about winning at WrestleMania, this is just too good a deal to pass up. Well, we've just received word that SmackDown General Manager Theodore Long has in fact agreed to this match as a way to cross promote WrestleMania. And this man, Randy Orton, certainly seems up to the challenge. Orton's not sweating nothing, folks. This kid has gone toe to toe with the biggest leverage in this business, and he ain't gonna back down from some clown for Raw. I mean, let's face it, he may be the number one contender on Raw, but this ain't Raw. This is SmackDown. SmackDown won't be intimidated by some Raw contender, and neither will Randy Orton. He's the number one contender for Triple H's WWE title pass, but he's here to take on Randy Orton at Triple H's urging. Yeah, how messed up is that? Who takes orders from the guy that's going to be fighting for the title? All right, interesting stipulation here, facing uh, Randy Orton. We win, we got the no DQ match at WrestleMania. There goes my uh, phone going off in the background. Good old Ric Flair letting me know I got a text message. <laughs> All right, G gonna be a good match, obviously, because Randy Orton is a hell of a competitor. It's about time the first guy gets the face, though. That isn't over fucking 300 pounds. It's nice. Though he probably is the best wrestler that I faced thus far. He's gonna work on the leg. That's something I need to do. I gotta edit Kurt Angle's maneuvers here so I could get some more more moves that damage the leg, so I could actually use the angle lock. Why am I still on the floor? Seriously, there we go. Get up. Beat him down with some punches. Turn around, Orton. Okay, or not. Schoolboy, hit the ropes. One, two, three. Two. It's always a two count. Never the three count. Always two count. Get down, son. Get down, son. Misses the punch. It's all good. Close line him back down to the ground. Let's go to the top rope. All right, well, I'll hit the elbow drop, I guess. Do a little damage with that elbow drop over here. And the moonsault. Double damage. Moonsault elbow drop combination. That's a three count. These SmackDown refs screwed me over. Oh, Randy Orton just dodging everything. Another schoolboy. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's a three count. It's so dumb looking. Oh shit, I need to get my stamina back. That wasn't a counter. Nothing happens. Yeah. Man, I'm you, he, oh shit. Trust me, you could cut this tension with a knife. I don't Take him down to the ground. Gotta save that finisher. It's gonna be a quick match. Rainer's pretty much already dead. And oh, I was about to hit him with the angle slam, but he reversed. Get down, son. Big clothesline. Right, here we go. Here we go. Angle slam time. Sayonara. Boom. Man, right here, there's a punk ass bitch in this game. That was meant to be a pin. Son of a bitch. Guess I'll put him in the chin lock then. 
Body scissor shin lock combination. Three. Four. I let him go to the last second. I choked Randy Orton out. He's dead. I killed him. No more Randy Orton. Oh. Big jawbreaker right there. Uh oh. Shinbreaker coming up. Kaboom. Alright, get up. Get up, Kurt. Get up, Kurt. Come here. Don't let this punk ass kid take you down. Ow. Big snap jab. Alright, let's put him in a submission hold. Or not. He could reverse. Oh, Manhattan drop. Get up. Get up. So slow. Okay, there we go. Got him. Alright. There we go. Put him in. Oh, what is this? Is this a pin? Oh. One. Two. Three. Clever little pin by Kurt Angle for the win. That celebration right here in the game. <laughs> Put that gold medal on me, son, because I am the champ. Orale! <laughs> it's Laparka, your boy. I'm here to tell you if you don't support Hero the Call Me, you suck. So go watch some more videos and just be awesome. You know, thumbs them up. If you feel like donating to his channel, patreon.com slash Hero They Call Me. If you feel like following him around everywhere, there's Twitter, Hero They Call Me, Facebook, Hero They Call Me. And there's a new thing called Tad. It's an app. You can watch ads over there, which will help them out very much so. The link is in the description below. It's www.givetad.com. Slash sure they call me. It'll bring you straight to it. Download that app. Watch some ads. Do it for your boy, LaParka. Do it for your boy, Hero They Call Me. And if you don't, I'll beat you to death with a steel chair.